lazy guy? Lazy? Not nearly lazy enough, my friend. I think you underestimate the pinnacle of all laziness. That is Suspect Amy. Hello, War of the Vision newbies. This is Suspect Amy, and I'm here to do a quick video about the absolute number one laziest way to benefit from trust stones on your new account, and it only takes you a few minutes. Orange A has a fantastic video on the latest Trust Stone rework. It's only 10 minutes long, and I highly recommend watching it afterwards if you're ready to go beyond my walkthrough. Link in the description. Okay, let's begin. Go to the Trust Stone Chambers in the Far Plane Archives. These are only level 60, so you can basically do this on day one. Burn 10 skip tickets on each chamber. This should get you around 20 of these little green guys. Once you have 20 from each chamber, let's go make some stones. Go to the equipment area and then tap on Trust Stones, then tap Forge. Now, this is the laziest girl's guide, remember? So we're just going to create a single set of trust stones that every unit can gain bonuses from. You should be able to equip these on a tank, or a healer or an attacker, and it should still be useful. Filter by the lowest rarity, N, just to clean this screen up a bit. Now at the top you want to go through each of these letters one by one and create one trust stone each. Whenever you see an HP symbol here, you want to choose that. An HP set will give your unit 5% more health plus 5 attack resistance to all elements. This one is a no-brainer and super useful to every type of unit. Remember to only create one trust stone, no more. Then go on to the next letter at the top. If you don't see an HP symbol, you want the one that looks like a little arrow here. This is an aim set, and it gives you 15 more accuracy. Trust me. There's nothing worse in PvP than watching your character completely whiff on someone. You might argue that healers don't need accuracy, but healers in this game still dish out awesome damage compared to healers in other games, so I think it will still come in handy. Now just keep on trucking through the rest of the letters until you have one of each letter forged. Let's go back and we can see we now have six trust stones. Cool, let's try these out. Go to your unit, tap set trust stone, and just hit auto set and apply Bam. Superpowers, well, low-grade superpowers, but still. Look at all these stat bumps. Everyone just got so beefy. Now you are officially the laziest trust stone user in War of the Visions. Okay, you're probably thinking to yourself, that wasn't so bad. If I have, like, five more minutes, can I make my trust stones even better? But be careful, I don't want to ruin my lazy reputation. I've got just the solution for you. Let's swap that crummy aim set for the gloriously beloved speed agility set. How do I do that? Well, sadly the speed agility set is not even an option on any of the trust stone materials you can farm in the chambers, but it's not hard to get. Before we do some farming, you have to remember one word, and that's tag. T-A-G, tag. This is an acronym coined by Oran J to refer to offensive trust stones. And to be honest, it's by far the best acronym. I've heard a few others, and they're nowhere near as clever. Just imagine that you're going to tag someone, so you're going on the offense. Okay, back to the trust stone chambers. You need to do a bit more farming, but you only want to farm the chambers with the letters T. A, G, tag. Do not farm any of the other chambers right now. You want to burn a bunch of skip tickets and energy here and farm until you have over 80 of these purple guys from each of the T, A, and G chambers. Now let's go to the exchange shop. Scroll until we find Trust Stone and we only want to look at the tag options on the right side here. Start with the blue and exchange up all of your greens, then do the same for purple and then yellow. The ultimate goal here is that we want exactly 20 yellow trust stone materials for each letter, T, A, and G. Let's go back to equipment and open trust stones. Tap Forge. Now we're going to filter by MR so that only yellows are shown. Go to one of the tag letters at the top and you will see that you suddenly have the option to forge a new type that looks like a little boot. That's speed agility, and it grants you three agility and five evade. Let's forge one yellow boot trust stone for each of the tag letters at the top. 
Why is speed set better than aim? Well, agility is generally a much better stat than accuracy. It works well on every unit, even healers. This stat allows your units to take their turn faster and makes them harder to hit. We'll go back to our trust stone list. Go ahead and dismantle your green tag trust stones. You don't need these anymore. Now let's go back to your units and start giving them their new agility boost. Wow, look how fast they look all of a sudden. And that was the absolute laziest girls walkthrough on getting started with trust stones. There are dozens of guides going through where to go next with your trust stones and what to do with all of the different substats you see here. Please watch those guides when you're ready to take the leap from being the laziest trust stone user like me. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching my video. Bye everyone.